Here's a quick video about the motor mounts. This is the motor mount you get from Street Beats. It requires a special motor mount there. The bolt, long bolt goes through there. Uh, and I'm worried about a little bit about strength of this. And this also, uh, these bolt holes here, go on the side of the frame here. And, you, and, and the idea of this being, being adjustable back and forth when you put that motor mount in there. And I'm not really concerned about that. I'm worried about the horsepower. I'm worried about the sliding and torquing. So what I did is I've made my own motor mounts and I'm using this type of motor mount. This is a more of a fox body motor mount. And this is an energy suspension motor mount. A lot stronger than, than the one that would have fit in there with the Street Beasts motor mount. Now, pretty simple what I did here. Uh, I just made some cardboard cutout. I got a cardboard cutout here. I cut this out of it's pretty thick. It's out of 3 8 steel. So I made a cardboard cutout for the uh, side and then one for the top uh, and then that matches on the bottom so this this cardboard cutout would be the one on the bottom so when I get done it'll look like the motor mounts are actually part of the frame when I weld those all in there I did it on both sides and the neat thing about this is once I get rid of this once I get rid of this thing I'm going to cut that off because it's so ugly I'll make an entire plate that'll go right up here and I can blend this all down and it'll look like the motor mount and, and I'll put a piece here that will go across the angle here. It looks like this motor mount is like one whole sleeve around the frame part and it'll look really, really cool. It's accessible from the back. You can see it's open. That's how you get to the nut that holds the motor mount on. Very easy. It's out of the way. Won't get any, any moisture or anything. We'll, be, we'll get in there because of the road uh, splashing up into there because it's uh, open in the back. I'm making my own headers for this vehicle, so I, I, for this Cobra, so I really don't have to worry about that. The other thing I did was, by doing this, by making my own motor mounts, I was able to take this motor and move it back about a half an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch. And that helps uh, get the weight back to the wheels a little bit. I don't want it up, so, up front so far so that I'm always spinning the tires. So I wanted to get the engine back in the body a little bit more. As I mentioned in the rear end section of this video for building this Cobra, I mentioned about having the third member made and the axle made custom so that the yoke and the third member were in the exact middle of the frame. That way you get a straight shot with the uh, drive shaft right to the rear end. Now, if you, the, the engine's angled down slightly, but if you look straight down the cam, I'm going to go straight down the cam bore here. If you look straight down the cam bore, what you see exactly is the universal. That's the yoke for the rear end. It is perfectly lined up with the center of this motor. The drive shaft will be straight, the transmission will be straight, everything will be a straight shot right up to the crank. There will be no angles involved there. You lose a lot of horsepower with angles and this is a, uh, a great way to keep it straight. So now I just have to make that plate, weld the motor mounts in, and then I can take the block and the heads back to the machine shop. The intake manifold's already there, getting some work done so I can do the fuel injection. I'll weld those bungs in. But in the meantime, uh, I was going to put in these spacers. These spacers have to be put on the top of the intake manifold so that these throttle bodies will match so they bolt up correctly. You can see there's a different bolt hole pattern. There's two bolt hole patterns. The, the inside bolt hole pattern goes to the intake manifold and then these throttle bodies uh, go on these outside bolts. And I really don't want to do that. It actually looks kind of ugly when you sit it on top because this overhangs. So I got myself a nice piece of T6 6061 aluminum, one inch thick, and I'm going to mill out, I'm going to make a billet spacer. Uh, it'll be smaller on the bottom. It'll match exactly the shape of the manifold. I'll weld that on and then the top will taper up and it'll be milled out and these will fit exactly, these uh, throttle bodies will fit exactly on top uh, of this aluminum. And I can polish it. Uh, I can take, I got both of these right here. These will sit basically right on top of this uh, aluminum, just like that. And, and I'll, I can cut this out and shape this so it matches the throttle bodies all the way around. Polish it, and it will look just like these aluminum parts, nice and shiny. And then I'll weld it right on the bottom to the intake manifold. And that will be an awesome addition. Again, something different.